And welcome to Carrollton, Texas, on the campus of Prince of Peace Christian School. Tonight, the 6-1 Prince of Peace Eagles take on the 3-3 three three, Corum D.O. Lions. Hello, everyone. I'm Scott Eckensberger, along with Coach Jim Smith. Prince of Peace has been on a roll. has done a great job on the ground. And last night, they opened up the air attack a little bit last week, I should say. Their main, main, main offensive attack is, of course, on the ground. They've rushed uh, over 250 yards consecutively for every game of the season. Their highest rushing total was week two in a loss against Garland Christian where they racked up 531 yards. Yeah, the uh, offensive line is one that uh, controls that, and uh, that's headed by Nick Trimbrick, Taylor Nelson, excuse me, Taylor Rodinger, and Josh Ranger at the guard, and Grant Thornburg and uh, Brett Moore have been a tackle with Grant uh, Knight being a First sub didn't play in the end of position. Team coming out onto the field through their tunnel with the inflatable eagle head and some fog and some music, and they are fired up coming out to the field. Prince of Peace tonight wearing their white pants and their midnight blue jerseys, white numerals, white helmets, the blue stripe down the middle with no logo. Corin Dio coming in tonight's game with white jerseys, black or dark blue numerals, blue, dark blue pants with a thick yellow stripe down the side. With and uh, one of the changes in our life tonight, we have number 32, Will Sherrill. Will has been on the uh, sideline the last four or five weeks, injured. Matthew Rogers going in the ball at the 40-yard line. It's a nice deep kick. Received by Aaron at the 10. He's up at the 15, trip the middle to the 20, 25, out to the left of the 30. 35 breaks the tackle out to the 32-yard line to the near sideline. And a nice return by Pat Hare. Tackled by Israel with Roland. They have uh, two Roland boys, Israel and Isaac. So a good return. Prince of Peace has excellent field position. The ball resting on the 32-yard line of Prince of Peace for their opening drive tonight. In the backfield, you've got Wolf, Nelson, and Hare. Shadley is the quarterback. Shadley now under center. Hare and right. Handoff over the middle. Taylor Nelson out to the 35, 40, 45, 50. Midfield, 45, 40. And brought down at the 40-yard line. So a great run by Taylor Nelson. Yes, sir. That's a record-breaking run there for Taylor Nelson. Congratulations to Taylor Nelson breaking a school record for most yards rushed in a season. But that brings up first and 10 for Prince of Peace. Hare in motion to the right. Shadley fake handoff inside handoff and brought down at the 45-yard line, a four-yard loss as the handoff was to Wolf. So he's second down and 14, ball resting on the 45-yard line of the line. Bajua and Bishop are the receivers on the near side. Aaron Moses to the right, pitch to Hare to the right, he's in the 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 15, and brought down to 20. And that's a horse color penalty. And the Prince of Peace. Moving the ball without any issues tonight in this first drive. First and goal, hair in motion to the right. Hand off Taylor Nelson out to the 10. Five, touchdown Taylor Nelson. Touchdown Prince of Peace. Just like that, Prince of Peace gets on the scoreboard with 10.30 left to go in the first quarter. Prince of Peace starting on their own 32-yard line, drives 78 yards. Taylor Nelson touchdown, and they're in the swinging gate formation here for this extra point. Shadley gets the snap, pass to Pat Hare at the two, steps in the end zone, and the two-point conversion is good. So Prince of Peace executes the swinging gate formation, two-point conversion pass play. Shadley to Hare for a two-yard pass to Fleet. So with 10.30 left to go in this first quarter, Prince of Peace leading Carmdio by the score of 8-0.